Hello and welcome. My name is Ahmed Yasin, and in this video, I'm going to give you a brief idea about the course Mathematics IBDB for the standard level. This course focuses on introducing important mathematical concepts through the development of mathematical techniques. The intention is to introduce students to these concepts in a comprehensible and coherent way. Students should, whenever possible, apply the mathematical knowledge they have acquired to solve realistic problem sets in an appropriate context. In this course, this is the book that we are going to use in order to cover all the units that are needed for your external exams. Your external exams consist from two papers, paper one and paper two. Paper one is without calculator and paper two is with calculator. This external exam contributes 80% uh, from your total mark. The other 20% is for the internal assessment. These are the whole units that we are going to cover in this course. The whole units are divided into five main topics. Topic one, which is number and algebra. In this topic, we are going to cover the following ideas. Arithmetic and geometric sequences, percentage change, binomial theorem, and deductive proof. All these ideas can be found in Unit 1, Sequences and Series. The second topic, which is entitled with functions, consists from the following ideas. Lines, we are going to find the general form of the line, different shapes of lines, the range and the domain. Quadratic functions, how to solve quadratic functions, how to graph them, how to factorize them, and how to find the general solution for the quadratic equations. Functions in general we are going to find the domain, range, and the graph certain types of functions. After that, we are going to move, to move on to composition and inverse function. Find the relation between the function and the inverse function, how to graph, how to find the domain, the range, and how to find the inverse function for different types of functions. Also, we are going to find the composite of two and three types of functions. Then we will move to transformations. We are going to apply different types of transformation on different types of functions. The transformation that we are going to use are translation, reflection, and rotation. Then we will move to a new concept, which is the asymptotes. We are going to find different types of asymptotes for different functions and use them to graph these types of functions. After that, we will move to the exponent and logarithms. We are going to talk about the rules of exponents, how to graph exponent function, what's the domain and the range of exponent function, What's the relation between the logarithmic functions and the exponent functions in the concept of the domain and the range? And how to graph the logarithmic functions, how to find the solution for the logarithmic equation? And we will finish this topic by the exponential equations, how to find, how to find the solution for them, and how to apply all the knowledge, the knowledge that we learned in order to solve different types of exponential equations. All these ideas can be found in Unit 2, Unit 3, and Unit 4, also in Unit 9. Then we will move to the geometry and trigonometry topic, which includes the following ideas. Triangles in general, how to apply the Pythagorean theorem, how to find the sine and the cosine rule, how, what's the relation between the angles and the sides of the triangle, also, after that, we will move to the arc and sectors. Arcs and sectors are part of the circle. What's the difference between them? How to find the area and the parameter of certain shape of the circle? Then we will connect the sine, the cosine, and tan with the unit circle. We will talk about the identities, the relation between the different 
types of sine, cosine, and time fun functions. After that, we will move to trigonometric equations. We will apply these ident identities in order to solve these types of equations. And we will finalize this topic by talking about trigonometric functions, how to graph them, what's the domain and the range for these types of functions. All these ideas can be found in Unit 11, Unit 12. Topic 4, which is statistics and probability. We will talk about statistics and basic concepts, how to find the mean, the variance for different sets of data. What's the linear regression? What's the relation between two different variables? How to graph them? How to, to explain the relation between the variables? Then we will talk about the probability in general using the Venn diagram and the tree diagram. After that, we will talk about three different types of distribution. First, we will start with the speed distribution in general. Then we will, we will focus on two types of distributions, binomial distribution and normal distribution. All these ideas can be found in Unit 8, Unit 6, Unit 7, and Unit 14. The final topic that we will cover this year is about calculus. We will start with the concept of the limit. Then we will talk about the derivative. Then we will focus on some different techniques in order to find the derivative for different functions, such as the chain rule. Then we will connect these ideas with the tangent and normal lines, how to find the equation for these two lines. We are going to check the concave vity of the function, the increasing and decreasing of a function. We will use the derivatives in order to find the graphs of f, the derivative of f, and the second derivative of f. Then we will take some real applications on the derivatives, which is the optimization questions. As for the integrals, we will start with indefinite, indefinite integrals and definite integrals. And we will find the, the, the integrals of different functions using direct integrals or substitution method. Then we will end this course by talking about the kinematic equations and problems. All these idea can, ideas can be found in Unit 5 and Unit 13. Thank you for